go again. Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Look at that. Look at that right there. GMT mask. First of all, please subscribe and like this video. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I want all of you to be on this journey of wristwatches. Much love to all of you. Now let's talk about this watch from Albany Watch Company. Shout out to Brett for allowing me to review this watch. And right now I'm rocking the Omega Geneve with the red vintage strap from strapscode.com. I'll leave my affiliate link in the description, but let's finish getting back into this wonderful packaging. All right, now the packaging is dope. Love the wood box it came in, and this watch roll for you to put extra straps or watches in it, give it a nice touch. Now, at first glance, it was that deep blue dial that got my attention. It felt like my eyes were diving into a pool of warm ocean water. Now the armor diver from Albany has a great story, a historical story that comes from Japan. The armor are Japanese divers, famous for collecting pearls. The vast majority of them are women. Japanese tradition holds that the practice of armor may be 2000 years old. Traditionally, and even as recent as the 1960s, armor dive wearing only a loincloth. Even in modern times, Alma dive without scuba gear or air tanks, making them a traditional sort of free diver. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand the water for 30 seconds. So you got to give these women props for what they do. All right. Uh, records of the female pearl divers or Alma date back as early as 1927 A.D. in Japan's Halan period. Early Amma were known to dive for seafood and were honored with the task of retrieving abalone for shrines and imperial emperors. Amma traditionally wear white as it is believed to ward off sharks. Early divers wore a loincloth, but in the 20th century, the divers adopted all white sheer diving uniform in order to be more presentable while diving. Women began diving as armor as early as 12 and 13 years old, taught by an elder armor. Despite their early start, divers are known to be active well into their 70s and are rumored to live longer due to their diving training and disciplines. In Japan, women are considered to be superior divers due to the distribution of their fat and their ability to hold their breath longer. Okay, let's get into some specs. The hands on the watch represent the armor's dive tools from the knife-like hour and the spear-shaped minute hands to the signature harpoon second hands. Now the loom is Swiss Super Luminova BWG9 that has been applied to all three hands and indices and the crown. Anti-reflective dome crystal and bezel insert are made from scratch-resistant sapphire crystal. At 41.5 millimeters, the 120 click unidirectional bezel is easy to grip and extremely precise with no playback. The Armor Diver invokes a time of vintage sea exploration. They wanted a design that was sleek and original yet familiar. Introducing their 316L brush stainless steel 60s skin diver style case, depth rated to 300 meters. Armor Divers are depth tested during manufacturing and after assembly. Their crown features the Albany Cormorant, a symbol of nobility and bounty. With the 40 millimeter case size with drill lugs for easy strap changes, 48 millimeter lug to lug with 20 millimeter strap size, 12.8 millimeters in height, including the dome sapphire crystal, a seven millimeter fully loomed Swiss Lumen Nova screw down crown that's easy to grip. Now, what we have under the hood, which is the heart of the armor diver, is the highly regarded Miyota 9039, the no date version of the beloved 9015. This automatic movement beating at 28,800 BHPs is beloved for its smooth secondhand sweep. 
Now the case back is a screw down case back and features an engraving inspired by Iowa's Yoshi Zuki's photography of Alma divers from his village circa the 1950s. This 2000 year old free diving tradition is a testament to the Alma spirit, enduring and close relationship to the sea. And it also comes with the Eco Weave NATO strap and an Italian leather strap along with the beads of rice bracelet that you see on the wrist right now. And both offerings are coming in at $399. That includes the Bath is Blue and the Black Pearl, $399, which I think is a great deal for this particular watch. Now, I feel like this is a watch that I can really get behind. Like I said, I'm loving this blue dial on this one here. You know what I mean? So I want to know what y'all think about it. I think it's a great watch. You know, something to look out for in the future. And for those that ordered this watch, you are getting a great timepiece. So holla at your boy P. Ross. We out. Peace.